This is Twit. Hey, what's going on, everybody? I am Ant Pruitt, and I am the host of Hands On Photography here on Twit TV. I know you got yourself a fancy smartphone, you got yourself a fancy camera, but your pictures are still lacking. Can't quite figure out what the heck shutter speed means? Watch my show. I got you covered. Want to know more about just the ISO and exposure triangle in general? Yeah, I got you covered. Or if you got all of that down, you want to get into lighting, you know, making things look better by changing the lights around you. I got you covered on that, too. So check us out each and every Thursday here on the network. Go to twit.tv slash hop and subscribe today. This next bit of news falls under the category labeled not all things that can be done should be done. And we occasionally encounter those on and encounter those on the podcast. Unfortunately, a new smart host attack automation framework. Yes, a host attack automation framework was open sourced a week ago last Tuesday on GitHub. My first thought was, please don't make attacking hosts any easier for the script kiddies. But it's too late. A cybersecurity engineer by the name of Mazen Ahmed explained that back in 2019, he and a fellow researcher, Khalid Farah, uh, participated in a security competition for developing offensive security tools, not defensive, offensive. And as we'll see a little bit later, uh, these might be now of interest to Australia, but we'll get that. To, we'll get there in a minute. So Mazin wrote, he said, I enjoy building security tools. And this competition was funded by HITB. That's hack in the box with a reward of $100,000 for the winners. He says, I thought it would be an interesting challenge to work on as a side project. I met my friend Khalid. He was also interested in winning this competition. We signed up and once accepted, we started meeting regularly to build this project. Okay, so the, the Hack in the Box Cyber Week AI Challenge, as it was called, had two categories host exploitation or malware evasion. And unfortunately, they chose the host exploitation option. So he wrote, host exploitation sounds more relevant to our experience. The goal was to build a host exploitation framework using AI based on the concept of deep exploit. The winning team should ideally prove the accuracy of the model, the improvement of the training and execution speed, and the technical features that have been added to the framework. We started experimenting with deep exploit and how it works. And we decided to start a new project based on the ideas we had on how to improve that tool. This eventually ended up having us develop something that they named Shanina, S-H-E-N-N-I-N-A, Shanina, a host execution, I'm, so, I'm sorry, a host exploitation framework. He said, he said, the project is four times faster than deep exploit. We were excited about the results. Shanina comes with a deception detection capability that detects if the machine being exploited is a virtual machine or container and then terminates post-exploitation once it's detected. This feature is powered by Metasploit modules. The Shanina framework has qualified for the top five projects out of 40 that is in, this, in that competition. He said, we worked on developing the tool further to prepare for our final demo that will be live at HITB Abu Dhabi 2019. Okay, so that was, what, three years ago. He said, unfortunately, the rules of the competition and the judging criteria changed during the demo day, which I guess meant that they didn't do as well as they expected to. He said, we enjoyed HITB Cyber Week 2019. It was an amazing journey, and I enjoyed building the Shanina framework. I also printed my research 
presented my research on JWT hacking at the time. Uh, JWT are, are, is, a, is the abbreviation for Jason Web Tokens. And he says, it was a busy week. Finally, he said, we're planning to open source the project and the experiment. There are no plans for further maintaining Shanina in the near future. And that open sourcing of Shanina just came to pass. This powerful Shanina host exploitation framework is now up on GitHub. They do comment under the FAQ question. They, they ask themselves, why are we solving this problem with AI? And they reply, the problem should be solved by a hash tree without using AI. However, the HITB Cyber Week AI challenge required the project to find ways to solve it through AI. So that's what they did. So, okay, so extracting some of the more interesting bits from the project's abstract, they explain, Shanina is an automated host exploitation framework. The mission of the project is to fully automate the scanning, vulnerability scanning and analysis and exploitation using artificial intelligence. Shanina is integrated with Metasploit and Nmap for performing the attacks, as well as being integrated with an in-house command and control server for exfiltrating data from compromised machines automatically. And I'm thinking, and why post this tool publicly? Wow. Then they continue. Shanina scans a set of input targets for available network services, uses its AI engine to identify recommended exploits for the attacks, then attempts to test and attack the targets. If the attack succeeds, Shanina proceeds with the post-exploitation phase. The AI engine is initially trained against live targets to learn reliable exploits against remote services. Shanina also supports a heuristics mode for identifying recommended exploits. The documentation can be found in the docs directory within the project. And then they enumerate their features. Automated self-learning approach for finding exploits. High performance using managed concurrency design. Intelligent exploits clustering, post-exploitation capabilities, deception detection, ransomware simulation capabilities, automated data exfiltration, vulnerability scanning mode, heuristic mode support for recommended exploits, Windows, Linux, and Mac OS support for agents, scriptable attack method with the post-exploitation phase. Exploits suggests exploits suggestions for kernel exploits, out of band technique testing for exploitation checks, automated exfiltration of important data on compromised servers, reporting capabilities, coverage for forty plus TTPs. That's of course tactics, techniques, and procedures within the MITRE attack framework, and supports multi-input targets. Well, that's just great. It's bad <laughs> enough. That, <laughs> really? I mean, do we have to be doing this, making this so easy for well, the script kitties? This is the excuse they always give. It's for pen testing. You know, it's to simplify your pen that's testing. That's right. It's bad enough that the quite sophisticated and powerful Nmap scanner and Metasploit exploit frameworks, both which have been developing and evolving over many years, already allow sophisticated hackers to scan network regions and exploit them. But now this process has been automated with a <laughs> somewhat smart front end that incorporates Nmap and Metasploit to create a turnkey all-in-one automated system that can be launched by junior hackers who would never have the ability to create such a tool themselves. So, buckle up. <laughs> <laughs> you think it's meant uh, for malicious use, or I obviously do. I, I just, I, I, I just think, like, like you know, 
it's one of those things that just because you can doesn't mean you should. It, this will be of vastly more interest to to script kiddies who say, oh, look, we download it. And I run it on my Linux box, yeah. And it just it just oh, attacks look. everything. It's and so easy. Them. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. But I mean, you could also see how red teams need tools or would like tools like this. Yes. So I'm sure that a red team could could point it at their own network, right. and discover useful things. Unfortunately, it also accepts the command line star dot star. Oh, which Ow. you know. Put it on the internet and let it loose. Yeah. So, Yikes. and the fact that it runs on Linux means that if you compromise routers, it'll you know routers are all Linux based now. So just host this and start scanning and exploiting. Wow. Hmm. Yeah. So again, it's it's you know we're we're we've seen where there's a problem with people posting proofs of concepts to GitHub now because they're immediately weaponized. Well, now we've just weaponized Nmap and Metasploit, so you don't even have to read the manuals for them. You just press go. <laughs> and unfortunately, people will. Wow. <sighs> well, mm -hmm. You know, the only, one thing we've seen, Leo, over and over, is the only way to drive change is to force it to happen. So the upside is... After a period of cataclysm, uh, we may end up with stronger software as a consequence just because we didn't have a choice because, you know, these AI bots are now roaming around intelligently learning how to attack. Skynet, anyone? Wow.